Hey, what's going on everyone? Matthew from TheRightTrader.com back again with another cryptocurrency video. Today we're going to be covering Litecoin and doing a price prediction for 2020. Now Litecoin is currently sitting at the sixth spot with a market cap of $2.5 billion. Still very well within the top 10 and I think it might even be able to dethrone Bitcoin Cash for that uh, fifth spot later in 2020. Uh, the thing with Litecoin, just to give a little bit of a fundamental uh, overview and analysis of what's going on, I think that Bitcoin, you know, has uh, sorry, Litecoin has really stood the test of time, and uh, that's a very good thing. Now, uh, you should also consider that Litecoin doesn't have maybe the same factors and things in the pipeline that would make it, you know, get a huge increase and skyrocket into the top three. I just don't think it has that. I think Litecoin has really become uh, kind of the silver to Bitcoin. Uh, and some people might get mad at that, but I think that's that's the truth. And for that reason, I think it's going to follow um, the lead of the market. More specifically, what's going on with altcoins. And uh, the reason why I mention that is if we see an altcoin run up uh, in 2020, or at least the beginning of a run up, I think Litecoin is going to benefit from that. And Bitcoin dominance is very high right now. So I am actually expecting uh, some of that to decrease and to pour into altcoins. And obviously, Litecoin would be one that would most likely benefit from that quite a bit, right, uh, in the case of uh, the beginning of a run-up. So that is uh, one of the bullish factors there for Litecoin in 2020. Now, I think it's uh, not going to be able to dethrone Tether. Uh, there's just so much money pouring into Tether, and, uh, you know, it's just climbing up those spots. Tether currently at $4.2 billion. So, you know, if Tether doubles, uh, Litecoin will have space to move up as well. But I don't think, uh, and I don't just don't see it, getting higher than Tether, right? So that's going to act as somewhat of a cap. Uh, same with the uh, cryptos in front of Tether, but Tether is really going to be the key one to pay attention to there. Uh, for that reason, Litecoin will have to move somewhat proportionally to how much Tether is moving, right? So like I said, if if Litecoin, uh, if Tether gives it space to move up, you know, goes to $8 billion, $20 billion, Litecoin can, uh, you know, catch up, but I don't think it'll be able to uh, beat it, right? I think it's going to keep somewhat of a similar ratio as to what we have right now. Uh, as far as the percentage of difference in market cap. So that's something to keep in mind there on a more fundamental level. Now, moving over to the chart, uh, we've got some pretty interesting stuff going on. Uh, here in pink, we have our obvious long-term downtrend line. I'll go ahead and draw our somewhat of an uptrend line. Uh, so we do have nearly a symmetrical triangle formation, right? There's a couple things that I wanted to mention about this. First of all, what we're going to see next is a very similar pattern to what I saw with Ethereum, which I showed in my uh, price prediction for Ethereum in 2020. Now, if you want to see that video, I'll leave a link to the playlist of my crypto 2020 price predictions. I've already covered Ethereum, Bitcoin, Ripple, uh, and I'm probably going to do more soon. So make sure to check that out if you're interested. Link uh, in the description below. But uh, what we're going to see here for Litecoin is actually a very similar pattern. And that doesn't come as a surprise, actually, because guess what? <laughs> Ethereum and Litecoin are both altcoins. So for that reason, they're probably, and there's a high likelihood that they see, you know, some pretty similar price action this year and, uh, you know, for, for times to come, uh, at least in the near future. Now, I will say this, uh, Ethereum has been a little bit stronger than Litecoin. Uh, there's no doubt about that. And in the case of a, a bit of a bullish run-up, I think Ethereum is going to do better than Litecoin, right? But uh, I don't think that Litecoin will do bad in a situation like that. I just think that it won't be able to perform at the level uh, that Ethereum will. Now, if we take a look at the price here, we had this initial attempt at a cup and handle formation, right? So this is the formation right here. Uh, you get the cup formation, then you pull back, and then you break out higher again. And I'll show you another picture just so it's clear. We've got our, our cup. Uh, it tests that previous high and then pulls back, and then we get the breakout, right? So going back to the Litecoin chart, what we had was the cup formation. Uh, it tested the previous high right here, and it wasn't able to break through it, so we're pulling back. Now, this could still be, you know, uh, pretty much exactly what we're seeing here as far as the handle. It is already a little bit of a drawn-out handle, so that could lead to uh, exactly what I said for Ethereum, uh, which is going to be a second uh, cup and handle formation here, where we're going to get a uh, W formation, in fact, and get a move higher again. And the reason why this W formation is so powerful is because it makes complete sense when you break it down, right? We got our pullback, then our initial attempt at a bounce, that fails, that forms the first part of our W. We then pull back again, 
move back higher, and then we complete the W by getting a breakout, right? So I think we could really get uh, a very similar pattern here to Ethereum uh, with these two cup and handles, and then the second one actually completing and breaking us out of this downtrend line. So there's actually some things that I'm seeing with Litecoin here that I like, and although you know there was some damage done to the chart uh, over the last couple of months of bearishness, and we're currently oversold, I do think that we can actually uh, recover here, and we may still drop a little bit lower. I do think that Litecoin uh, is fully in the cards for dropping down to, you know, the previous low over here near thirty dollars, maybe even as low as a uh, twenty-six dollars. So we could reattempt that low but I think that we're not going to go below that. And uh, as long as we stay above this uptrend line right here, we're still fully fine. Uh, and we can, you know, uh, come to the very end of that right here at like $28, $29 and then break out higher. Uh, or we might even break out earlier than expected by, uh, you know, getting this move right here. Uh, and, you know, I would have to extend this a little bit, but we would get something more like this where we would maybe come down here exactly right at $28 and then start breaking out of the, that uptrend line, moving higher again. And then, you know, we would uh, test that 150 level to get that uh, stronger breakout that could push us up to, you know, $300 and maybe even new all-time highs. Now, just completing the rest of this pattern uh, is going to bring us into 2020. And if we look over to 21, uh, we could actually fully have completed this pattern by then. Of course, it depends on, you know, the scale of this uh, U right here. Uh, this one was pretty long. So if we get something as long as this, you know, it would take till the end of 2020 probably uh, to actually fully complete that. Uh, but it looks like uh, towards the end of 2020, we should really be setting up or have even started a bull run for Litecoin. That could happen earlier. Like I said, there's fully a possibility for that. So uh, the timing is going to be a bit tricky, uh, but what we really want to see is, you know, uh, breaking out of this downtrend line. That's going to be the first signal. Then we want to make sure that we are fully following a cup and handle formation like this, a U-shaped formation, and then it's just a matter of time for it to work back up to 150 and get that breakout, right? Uh, and, you know, from there it could really move quite a bit. So there will be an opportunity uh, if this happens, like I said, for a pretty big percentage increase, right? If we go down to, you know, uh, $30 and then end up climbing up all the way to 150 or around there uh, by the end of 2020. That's a big percentage increase right there, right? So uh, Litecoin obviously, uh, you know, hasn't had uh, the most attention in news recently and might not have as many factors as other cryptos, but it is one of the tried and true and tested altcoins out there, which I do think will really benefit from an altcoin season, uh, which is, you know, uh, a real likelihood in 2020. So once again, uh, W formation, two cup and handles, that's what's really to pay attention to here. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Check out the playlist for other crypto 2020 price predictions. I also have a playlist on stocks. And uh, make sure to check out my technical analysis master course. This covers everything you need to know about technical analysis. It's the ultimate guide with how to spot buying and selling opportunities. Uh, how to read candlesticks, advanced trading indicators, how to spot trends. Uh, we've got risk management principles in there as well. So everything you need to know about technical analysis trading is covered. And you can get that for under $40, which is literally the price of a t-shirt or two. So I don't think you can get a better deal with that uh, for what comes with this course. And it even comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, which means that you have nothing to lose by giving it a try. Link to that in the description of this video. And thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.